Suicide Squad is finally here, bringing us the worst bunch of heroes to ever hit the silver screen. Now it's time to discuss what the ending of the film means for the DC's movie franchise. That is, if it can survive the rough reviews and actually still get a sequel. Spoilers ahead. New Squad. In the final act, our heroic band of villains spared the world from destruction and one didn't make it out alive. Even after the squad saved the day, Amanda Waller only took 10 years off their sentences, so it was back to prison for the crew. Thankfully, the squad has a history of revolving members, so we could definitely see some new blood in a sequel. The teams included the likes of Killer Frost, Parasite, Dr. Light, and even the Penguin. With El Diablo dead and Harley Quinn freed by the Joker, there are some slots to fill, and here's hoping for a gigantic CGI King Shark. Harley Quinn's Misadventures Beyond potentially appearing in Suicide Squad's sequel, Harley Quinn will reportedly be getting her own movie, so expect to see the mallet-wielding psycho return. Even though the Joker busted her out of prison at the end of Suicide Squad, we're hoping Harley can spread her wings without being tethered to the clown prince of crime. Her spin-off could include the return of Katana, or maybe her longtime partner in crime, Poison Ivy perhaps. Waller's End Amanda Waller is a character who quickly asserts herself as a force to be reckoned with. As a master manipulator, she does what's necessary to serve her own agenda, including killing innocents to protect her interests. She's threatened every member of the Suicide Squad, including Rick Flagg. In the animated film Assault on Arkham, Deadshot makes sure that Waller knows that he has the upper hand. And there's no love lost between these two, so it's possible that we could see that story advance in a Suicide Squad sequel, Justice. If you stuck around long enough to watch the mid credit scene, you were treated to a face-off between Waller and Bruce Wayne. Waller wanted protection from the media and gave Wayne some dossiers of metahumans in return. The two had a tense exchange toward the end of the scene, with Waller implying that she knows Bruce Wayne is Batman. If there's one thing Waller is good at, it's getting leverage. What would happen if the Justice League had to shut down Task Force X? Deadshot and Harley forever. In the comics, Deadshot and Harley Quinn enjoy a turbulent and short-lived romance. Meanwhile, the chemistry between Will Smith and Margot Robbie is hard to miss, and a relationship could potentially be explored in a sequel. After all, Deadshot purposely missed his shot at Harley, giving up the chance to see his daughter. If that doesn't scream, I like you, then nothing does. The Return of Katana Katana was on hand to help Rick Flag keep the villains in line, but we only saw a little bit of a backstory and soul-stealing sword. She's rumored to return in Harley Quinn's spin-off film, but whether she comes back as a friend or foe is up in the air. We'd like to think she'd be sent by Waller to bring Quinn back to prison, but we'd also love to see a Katana and Harley team up. She seems nice. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch more videos like the one you just saw, and leave us a comment to let us know what you think could happen in the Suicide Squad's future.